survived nine weeks of the competition and made it through to the semi-finals. We almost thought it was never going to happen, but <laughs> on Monday night, David Seymour was finally eliminated from Dancing with the Stars. He's currently in Parliament doing that, you know, job he's got, but we are joined by his very talented and understanding dance partner and patient dance partner, <laughs> Amelia. Welcome to the cafe. Yeah. Thank you. It is so lovely to have you here, and it's great actually that David's not here because we can get all of the juicy goss from yes. you with him not being here. Yes. Did you at any point begin to think that you were in danger of actually winning the show? <laughs> I, I did actually. We had a chat about it, David and I, and we said, you know, worst case scenario, <laughs> if we were to win this thing, you know, what are we going to do? Uh, what is that going to look like? <laughs> um, because it was slowly becoming a reality. Yes. Yeah. Because whatever you say about David Seymour, dancing is probably not one of his strengths. No. Can we say that honestly? Well, well we can. We can. And he, he, knew he gave that it a good go. He did. Yeah. He knew that. And he always said, you know, A for Amelia, A for amazing. But I'd like to say A for always having that guy's back. Honestly, you were so good to him during this performance. You probably got to know him on a much better level than most of us. Was it hard defending him when people were talking to you about his performance? David is honestly one of the most lovable guys I've ever met and he genuinely was putting in 110% of his effort. He really wanted to improve. Um, it, the improvement was a bit slow and so yes the criticism came but I could absolutely defend him honestly because I saw the work yeah. he was putting in. At any point did he say to you I want to quit? No, he was very determined to keep going for Kids Line and for his voters. Yeah. Mm. And the judges have said that you sh showed everyone that anyone can really learn to dance by teaching David how to dance. <laughs> I tried really hard. <laughs> and I think in the ballroom dances, he was really good. Oh, towards the end there, I think the accumulation of knowledge that he was gaining over time we started to see that in his Viennese waltz and his yeah. quick step. The Paso Dobre that we just saw on screen was probably not, <laughs> not as fine as moment. moment. <laughs> but some I people, would say. Some people just don't have the coordination to look good dancing, do they? No. But the thing is, is that you're right, he gave it a shot. What was he mumbling? Was he mumbling the, the counting or something? Because quite often I catch him mumbling. Yeah, so a lot of people thought David was counting, but he always forgot to count, so <laughs> that was not what he was doing. Um, and and then some thought, oh, he's singing, which he kind of was, but he wasn't actually singing the song that was playing. It was his own version right. of the song. <laughs> um, so I'm not sure how helpful that was. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What was the first thing that went through your mind when you found that you're partnering David Seymour? Did you know anything about him? Did you Google him? So I was so excited to be on Dancing with the Stars, you know, as a dancer, this is a huge opportunity mm. for me. Mm. And I thought, yes, I'm going to get the sports guy because I've got a background in sports. Um, and then David walked through the door <laughs> and I was gutted. <laughs> to be fair, I just thought, oh, I'm going home week one. You know? um, and then I did, I jumped on Google and, you know, no one really likes him. He's a, you know, politician, ra di ra. And I thought, oh, but, you know, I couldn't have been with anyone better because I wouldn't have been here for the nine weeks and had the amazing time yeah. I've had if I had anybody else. And it, and it turns out that lots of people do like him. Yeah. He's there for nine weeks. Yes. Well, no, and I've got to make an admission. I'm pleased he's not here because I'd hate to tell him this to his face. But when the promo first aired for Dancing with the Stars, I tweeted, I think I've just seen the end of David Seymour's yeah. political <laughs> career. But in hindsight, given the last nine weeks, I think it's done wonders for him. Has he been surprised at how New Zealand's reacted? Absolutely. He he has been like astounded with the amount of support he he's received from not just teenagers, yeah. you know, or, or older people. Just, I think it was amazing that New Zealand got to see the real yeah. man, the real David, has not he, the politician. Has he got a partner? I don't think he does at the moment. Right, so you would have been quite, you know, close with him, I guess. Yeah, yeah. What are you buying? Yeah, yeah. Well, no. Where are going with this one, Mike? Well, no, because all of a sudden he's got, you know, he's got a woman in his life who's supporting him and looking after him every day and yeah, teaching yeah. him new things. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and also teaching yeah. him to eat properly because, you say they don't, yeah. really get, they don't get dietary advice, which I thought would have been really no. important because obviously the sports thing um, ups the ante because they're doing so much work, so many workouts, aren't they? With they the dancing. are. They are. Like, David's lost 
10 kgs. Wow. wow. He always refers to his pants as being old man pants and they're all baggy. Um, but no, they don't get they don't get nutrition advice, but I have tried to teach this politician whose staple diet is Wendy's pizza to incorporate some greens. Good. Um, I think that's a working progress at this point in time. <laughs> and that's what I mean. See, it's, it's been all encompassing for him. It's been the best thing he's done, I think. Oh, yeah. And, and for you as a teacher, your, your students got right behind him and supported him? They loved, they loved this underdog. They loved this guy who was breaking these stereotypes of what dance was supposed to be and embracing this trier and they just loved that. Yeah. It was pretty extraordinary the way the teenagers of this country, mm. he was their man. He was the one that all the 14 and 15 year olds just adored and voted on. If we were like David Seymour can't dance, and well, probably one of them, yeah. and we wanted to do something like a dance for a wedding, what would you suggest is the easiest one to learn for people? Since you've had to teach the man who's the most uncoordinated man in New Zealand to dance, <laughs> <laughs> what would you suggest? Well, it was so it was unusual because he he picked up the harder ballroom dances better than the easier right. easier ones. Okay, mm. it could be because they were later in the piece, so he had more knowledge. Um, a waltz, a good old waltz, standard waltz is a good one. Rhythm Foxtrot. Let's, oh, yeah, nice. let's talk about the twerk uh. that you got. Where did that come from and was that, do you believe, a good idea? <laughs> well. I bet you laugh when you first seen him do that. So it was Latin week and we got given the merengue, which is... To be fair, such a challenging Latin dance. It's not in your staple Latin five in the ballroom category. And any, even your Italian or Latino stud barely pulls off a merengue. <laughs> David Seymour's hip action doesn't scream good merengue. <laughs> You're right? right, Amelia. So I was thinking choreographically, okay, let's let's have a bit of fun with this. Let's take this somewhere else and try and just go for the entertainment factor. Um, well, you succeeded. Very much yeah, so. Very much hopefully so. Hopefully David can live this one down and it's a positive. Um, <laughs> otherwise, it's on my head. <laughs> That's right. You are to blame. Yeah, no, I am to blame. No, no, you've done great. Okay, just quickly because I know we've got to go. Uh, saying my egg, rap, 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 but uh, who will be the two finalists, you reckon? Yeah, so David and I have this little um, bet going. Jess is 101, the most amazing, inspirational woman. Love her. I want her to win. Yep. David's backing Chris Harris mm. all the way. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Amelia, thank you so much. Thanks for what having me. What an absolute yeah. pleasure getting the intel Legend. behind David Seymour. Yeah. <laughs> now, don't miss the final four in the grand finale of Dancing with the Stars this Sunday at 7 p.m. on three. Yes, two go halfway through the show, and then it's down to the final two. One show only, Sunday night. You do not want to miss it. It'll be an epic battle.